Uh, hmm. Hello. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Trust me, I'd rather not be breaking in. But Nigel Cass has some kind of meeting plan to unveil a new project. This could mean trouble for all of us. I have to check it out. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Fascinating. Send me their details. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. How are we going to recruit someone who works for Albion? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that... Difficult. Humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Are you interested in helping London? Oh, you're with DedSec. Oh, that's Brill. I actually need your help with something. We'll do our best to help out. What's your problem? My friend's got this rare blood disorder, and with the NHS and the state it's in, he hasn't been able to get proper treatment in months. A Clan Kelly doctor said they'd help for a price. What else could I do? I paid. Go on. The drugs worked. We were so relieved, but then everything went downhill. You see, these drugs are actually addictive. My friend became dependent, and then the doctor decided to increase the price. Now we don't know what to do. That's just so inhumane. Don't worry about it. We'll get your friend's meds. Not interested. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Would you be able to track him down, then? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you his coordinates now. The Clan Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. And he's got highly of your laptop with him too. That should contain the whereabouts of the drug shipment.
They're gone. No one here. Move it I'm up. just standing there. Look around. <laughs> There's the laptop. Laptop scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. Thank <laughs> you. 
house when experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. I'm detecting a vehicle nearby with at least two years worth of treatments inside. That's more than enough to wean our contact's friend off the treatment. Copy. There's the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. We have the vehicle. Now what? I found a safe location where a friend can pick it up. Send it you the coordinates now.
Move on. Okay, great. Thanks. Someone, anyone, call 999. Join 
That thing? It's done. The drugs are in a safe place. We'll send you the coordinates so your friend can start to wean off them as soon as possible. If there's any way I can ever help you, just let me know. Want to put your skills to good use? Dead sick is always up for new blood. Hell yes! I'm in! All right, another fine member of the crew. Welcome to DedSec. Yes, I'm so ready to help out the cause. Fantastic. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. Seems your mate took quite a bash in and has wound up in hospital. They won't be available for some time. If you're... Pursuit and coming back. Terminating the search. Fall back. Over. Huh? If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you... Jackboots, just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. 
Oh, and don't forget your uniform. All right, just act normal. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You seem to know an awful lot about him. Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. Huh. He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius, and I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. You don't think it's going to make certain uh, aspects of our job redundant, do you? Not a chance. The wreck everything is taken care of the and Mr. You know Cass that. is as determined call. as ever to make the white man as safe as possible by terrorists. I believe he has ensured that every security measure has been properly taken so that we are not going to be as he likes to do. The data of construction. I heard someone saying dead sick. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. This door clearly requires a security pass. Brill. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. Mr. Cass knows what he's doing. It will do you no good to question his direction. I'm not questioning his bloody directive. I'm wondering why we're not being... You've been up earlier? There are some parts of the city that need a footwork in the world. It's a heavy boots. You understand? Yeah, I know what you mean. But there's always an element of it. I can't stand It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Let's see it. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. 
Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Oh, wow. I almost feel sorry for him. But maybe he should have gone through therapy instead of being put in charge of securing London. Yeah, well... Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. A bit tense. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quickly. We wouldn't do to have to think if we didn't need the mercenaries. They wouldn't be I know, I know, but if I mess this up, then the whole project is delayed for I don't know how long. Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you'd called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> No, it's all right. The Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <laughs> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no, we'll be ready. And just in time, criminals running our streets, illegals threatening our families, the police commissioner himself, assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard, but here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention, a building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to document breach. Sweep has been initiated due to document breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. 
How do I get out of here, Bags? The catacombs, fam. Made you an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. Sounds like he plans to launch Themis ASAP. And from the way he was talking, I don't think it's the sort of genie that goes back into the bottle. Crap.
I'm not liking this at all. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Albion's looking for good candidates. Come see me for more information. Go for the gun and save it. 